So you can feel they're all squidgy. Mm. That's good. 40% more vitamin C in one of these than there is an orange. So quite good and you can forage for it see and the seed sits at the back hi welcome back to the lunch break gardener so today I'm going to be planting a dog rose uh, for the sole purpose of producing uh, rose hips in the autumn so I ordered this off of trees by post and it's come like this with a nice root ball on it it's soaked in here for two hours as per the instructions and I'm going to plant it just here so my Sun goes across the front of the garden so this will be in full Sun which is one of the requirements full Sun or partial shade you can plant the dog rose in any kind of soil clay alkaline acidic it will grow virtually in any kind of soil so you don't really have to worry about that um, it does say to line the base of the hole you're going to put it in with manure it's quite a hungry plant it's quite quick growing um, so I'm going to be doing that now so I'm just gonna put some fresh compost in the bottom here You don't really want to be planting this in the frost or in waterlogged ground or anything like that. So I'm just going to make sure. The instructions that came with this said to plant it just a couple of centimetres up. So I think that will look fine. And then it's really important to hold this upright while you fill in the rest. Just gonna fill this in actually. It might be easier just to pour it in. Ooh, that was my shovel going over. I'm just gonna hold this upright, put this all in around it, and then it's really important to really compact that down. Make sure there are no air holes. And that is my dog rose planted. So I'm gonna plant it up against uh, a trellis, but it's really important that you don't plant it too close to a pathway or the front of a border because it does become quite thorny so this trellis will go in front of here so preventing it from going on the pathway uh, but yeah they're a great source of vitamin c and the flowers in the summer are great for bees and wildlife they're not toxic towards dogs or cats uh, the only thing you have to be careful about is um, the rose hip contains seeds which have a fur lining on uh, which can aggravate the uh, lining of your stomach so you really don't want to eat them but I'm just telling you how to plant the plant rather than eat it. <laughs> and then you just need to water in your dog rose plant, keep it well watered in the first year uh, especially during dry, dry spells and hopefully that should flourish but I'll check back in with you and let you know how it's going over the summer. Okay thanks a lot, see you next time.